Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session. Tuesday, the 3rd of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You could download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's uh, try and decipher as to uh, which way the uh, the actual U.S. markets are, are going to uh, be going, given the fact that uh, we had the uh, weakness on Friday. The uh, Nasdaq and the S&P certainly experiencing immense weakness, even uh, given the uh, light volume environment. Okay, now let's see if that can actually be uh, sustained. Now, European markets this morning certainly very, very stellar in terms of the numbers thus far. You have the uh, the DAX up um, again. You have the FTSE up breaking through the key 7 one at a 20 resistance zone, you have the French cap up 0.5%, Euro stocks up as well, along as the FTSE MIB and the IBEX. A strong economic data out of the uh, EU and the UK this morning, certainly helping uh, lift sentiment there to a large extent. We have oil prices now touching $55 again uh, uh, as well, so uh, again, uh, further obviously helping sentiment to a large extent. But the US markets certainly have gapped higher and uh, certainly have baked that in now. In terms of U.S. markets, we have concerns with regards to Mexico and General Motors, with regards to Mr. Donald Trump's uh, wacky uh, and crazy tweets, given the fact that he wants to impose a big board tax on the uh, the companies, etc. So again, that certainly is bearish. You have Chinese concerns and Trump as well with his tweet, certainly attacking China, saying it's a one-way trade, and uh, him appointing this uh, this uh, another nutcase. Uh, his name, uh, I forgot his name now, uh, Lichtenzinger. Bear with me if I can just uh, see if I can find that again. I can't get reference to that, but basically he's a, he's a China hawk, okay? So again, that doesn't bode, for, bode well for, for US growth, okay? So again, uh, from my perspective, certainly is a risk off potential position there. Okay, now we also have concerns with regards to North Korea as well. So fundamentally, and from a geopolitical perspective as well, a uh, social economical perspective, certainly a risk aversion trade to a large extent, especially given the fact that we've gapped higher almost 20 handles now and we've certainly uh, factored in the uh, the actual bullish news. Now, the uh, the Nasdaq, as you can see here, closed at the 4860 zone. Okay, so certainly given the fact that we are now in the 4906, uh, 4910 zone, you are looking to gap higher by 40 points. So again, you are looking at resistance at 4905. If we do continue to march higher, then you have the next resistance at 4927. And uh, the next resistance at 4933. So again, that certainly is a zone, a good zone to short, given the fact that you are looking at a potential 70 point gap higher on the Nasdaq, so which is quite impressive. Now again, that gap itself is justified to a large extent, given the fact that you have China up by 1% overnight, Hang Seng up as well. Okay, so again, certainly take that into uh, consideration. So looking at the uh, the Nasdaq at present, 60 minute chart, you do have resistance here at 4905 to uh, 4915 so again that's a good zone to potentially open up a short position on the nasdaq and i certainly will be uh, taking advantage of that so that certainly is one of my short setups look going into today okay daily chart of the nasdaq just give you an insight here and then the daily chart certainly bearish given the fact that we have this bearish engulfing candle upper body is 4925 we need to break that in order to really sustain the uh, potential bull uh, bull move okay so bear that in mind okay now the actual uh, Dow Jones, let's just bring up the Dow for you as well. The Dow Jones certainly is looking weak. We failed to uh, hit that 20,000 level. Okay, we I think our pivot high was uh, 19,980. Okay, so on the daily chart itself, certainly is looking uh, certainly weaker and certainly exhausted as well to a large extent. The 60 minute chart on the Dow itself, we did put in a potential double top and obviously fallen ever since. We have reversed now. The current uh, price in the Dow at present is 19,920. Okay, so we are back into potential resistance now. Uh, you have a resistance obviously at 19,980. Okay, so you have previous support equals resistance here at 19,900. Okay, so just bear those two potential zones in mind. Okay, and now looking for a lower high. If we take the pivot uh, high to the pivot low on the Dow, uh, you are looking at uh, 19 and 920 being the Fib 75%. So that certainly is your level. Uh, to indicate that you are looking at resistance on US markets and therefore looking to potentially move lower, especially on the Dow and especially on the indices as well. Bringing up the S&P 500. Now, the S&P 500 had previous support equals resistance at 22.54.55. That's a zone where I've potentially taken out a short position and looking for a move lower. The daily draw on the S&P 500 certainly has broken the potential uptrend. Okay, so... Uh, 
bear that in mind. Now, using the fib retracement, we've only retraced, I think, 38% so far. So again, there is certainly an opportunity or possibility of us potentially closing the gap at 21.90 and plus retracing back to the fib 75% resistance zone. So that certainly is a possibility as well. So bear that in mind, okay? Uh, in terms of the 10-minute chart, we have an unfilled gap below at 22.38. Uh, we are into horizontal resistance at 22.54, and then we have gap fill at 22.55, 200 MA at 22.55, and then we do have other zones of resistance at 22.60 to 22.63. Very unlikely for us to, to move and gap higher 20 handles and sustain that move. Very, very unlikely, especially given the fact that we've uh, obviously rallied 20 from 22.38, a pivot low of 22.34. Okay, so 20 handles on the S&P 500 at present. Okay, so I think that certainly does uh, sum it up in terms of US markets, certainly looking for resistance on the NASDAQ and the S&P, and certainly looking for weakness on the Dow itself. Be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.